Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over setting up um, AI um, Red 4 aircraft. So aircraft to come up and attack us. And we're going to be taking a look at a new trigger that was just recently created or added by Eagle Dynamics. First thing we're going to do is set Sochi here to red. Then we're going to create a trigger zone. And all I'm going to call this is Sochi Combat. Okay, and the reason being, and we're going to make this pretty large. Um, let me zoom out a little bit because I want to get a good idea of how far it goes. Uh, let's put this up to... That's 10,000. Let's do 60,000. Actually, I'm going to go even higher than that. I think I'm going to do 90,000. And then let's see what our distance is here. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically go from the center of the X here ballpark it so 14 miles that's actually that's still not long enough and the reason why that's not long enough is if you set up um, air to air missiles for the red four okay um, 14 miles you're in firing range so the second they spawn it's it's your it's your butt now you could come all the way from one side to the other and get almost double that but you got to think about what your approach vector is going to be right <coughs> excuse me so if we're coming in from the carrier, we're going to be coming in from here. And then if Sochi is our target, well, again, as soon as you cross that barrier 14 miles out, you're going to have a fighter on you. And you want it to happen a little sooner than that, especially for air-to-air -air combat. So let's do 120,000. Let's see what that gets us. That should get us about 20 miles, I would think. Just shy. I think I'm going to go a little bit larger. Let's do, let's do 150,000. One, two, three. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. And that still gives us the option to come in here and bomb Gadada. You know, if we want to set this up like as an A-10 strike area. Uh, I mean, that's... It's only eight miles. And these are the things you guys got to think about when you're developing this stuff. Is What are you going to do with the mission, right? So, I'll tell you what. Let's actually back that back down. Oops. I don't want that. I want that. Let's back that down to 135,000. Okay. And I think that'll give us a good umbrella here. So if we're coming from Gadada, let's start from the center. Just 12 miles. So as long as the A-10s don't travel out too far or whatever your aircraft is. And you can even tell them, you know, you know, have this, you know, your a, a reference line where, you know, tell them not to cross it kind of thing. And later on, I'll show you guys some other tools on, on how you can draw some of this out in knee boards and things like that. All right. But let's see what our distance is from center. Yeah. And now we're at 22 miles. So by the time that the fighters spawn, you know, th you know, we'll be ready for them. And, and firing could happen soon. But we can even, we'll probably have the fighters still spawn back here somewhere. And that'll give us, you know, 35 miles to, to identify and track for this particular zone. Okay, so let's get into the next part of this. Let's bring up some fighters. And we're going to go uh, Russian here. And let's do, again, just like always, I, I always identify the area. Sochi A, not A2A, A3A. A, A. And then what I do is I will, depending on how I'm doing this, is, is I'll break them into groups right so meaning that the first spawn can be just one aircraft or two aircraft and then slowly increase it okay so I'm gonna name this um, how do I want to do this 2-1 2.1 .1. alright so this is two aircraft the first group and let's change this over to a MIG let's do a MIG-29 um, I use good or average because the um, what you call it? Gosh, I can't think, guys. The high skill level is just ridiculous. Plus, that looping crap that it does gets annoying anyway. So we're gonna name these Sochi Mig One. Is what this guy will be called. Let's go ahead and set him down, and let's put him up at. Always set your altitudes and everything first. So let's put him up at uh, sixteen thousand. Okay. And we're not going to worry about waypoints just yet. 
and we're going to make two of them. Let's copy this because I can't remember if I did it or not. And actually, sorry, one more thing we need to do. We need to arm them. And uh, really, I just sort of pick one. Like, you know, everything's a learning experience. So sort of just whatever you guys want to throw down. You know, as far as your armament goes. All right, now add the second one. Now create that, okay. And let's create a waypoint. And we're just going to start here. Now they will activate pretty freaking quick as far as um, jumping on target, right? But what we can do here is sort of give them a maybe a patrol pattern. Just like that. And then we'll edit, actually, and bring... It eh, doesn't matter which one. Maybe bring that one around. And to keep them flowing here, here's a couple things we're going to do. We're going to do start in route task, search then engage in zone, and here we'll make the zone 50,000, right? It covers over um, Sochi. And then we'll go do another one here, and I'm going to do set option. Uh, rules of engagement. Eh, we'll leave the ROE as is. Um, so I'm going to delete that one. Reaction to threat allow abort mission. I turn that off. I'm going to say um, evade fire. Okay, I don't want them to abort the mission. The other thing we're going to do is we can set a formation. So here's their formation. Uh, we can leave them echelon right, and we're going to do group close. This puts them really tight to each other. And let's see here, what else? Restrict air to ground attack, I'm going to say yes. Okay, we don't want them going over to the air base and trying to start some crap. Here you can set what the range is that they actually use their missiles. I'm not going to worry about that. Leave that as default for now. I think that's good for now. Okay. So, honestly, they tend to ignore the search of in, uh, engage in zone anyway. Um, that's cool that it actually tells you now what that is. Um, I don't think it always did that. Um, but um, they'll still go after pretty much anybody who's within their radar contact. Um, now, we're going to set them to late activation. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to do one more group like this. And I'm just going to set it right next to them. Okay. And we're going to call this one 2.2. We're going to call this leader would be MiG-3. And this one would be MiG-4. Okay. Now, here's how this works. <clears throat> so we're going to come to our trigger zone. Or our triggers, and we're going to call this Sochi A to A um, two dot one start, and we don't need any flags or anything like that for this one. For this method of doing it, we're going to go new, and we're going to go part of coalition zone. This is so awesome. And we're going to go blue, part of coalition, we, when the blue enters the zone, and Sochi combat, and the type of aircraft that enters the zone is going to be an airplane. Then we're going to go group activate, and find our MiG. Okay, just like that. Now... This is all fine and dandy as long as these guys get shot down. Okay, there's a couple different um, things that can be a pain in the butt in these particular scenarios. And this is why typically when doing this, I use radio items. 
okay, give the pilot the option to spawn whichever group that he wants. And the reason being is because there's a, a, a pain in the butt that can happen here that makes it very difficult to um, set this guy up. Okay, and I'll show you here in a minute here. First, let's set up the second aircraft. All right, we're going to use green for our colors on this one. And now we're going to go clone. And you don't have to do clone, but however you want to do it. A2A 2.2 starts, this is the second group. And we're going to change the condition to part of coalition still in zone. So we're going to keep that here, but we're also going to add one. We're going to go new and say group dead. And group dead is where are you? Sochi, that's what I'm looking for. Nope, 2.1. Okay. Then group activate 2.2. Now this is one way to do this, and I actually just thought of another one that might work. So what's gonna happen? The the, the second scenario that could cause this as it is right now not to work. We fly in, let's say you're flying by yourself, you fly in, you, these guys spawn, you think you can take them out, well, you miss. One of them takes you out. Okay, so you, in the process of respawning, you don't make it back in time before he lands. Okay, so when he lands, okay, um, he'll either park the aircraft or despawn, however you want to do it, but technically the group isn't dead. That's the whole problem at that point. The group is still alive, it still exists. Okay, so technically what you'd have to do is come down to Sochi and beat the crap out of it, right? And so that makes it sort of a drag. Um, and you know what? Actually, yeah, no, we'll leave that as is. I'm not going to confuse anything. So that's, that's a problem. In that situation, when you come back into the zone, technically nothing will happen because the trigger isn't met. The, the conditions aren't met. So there's one other thing that we can do that I think will work. And give me a second. We're going to try this out. So let's go. We're going to add an ore here. Why are you not letting me add an ore? Hey, add an ore. Thank you. All right, so let's see here. If Give me a second. It would have to be unit. Yeah. So, if we do units altitude AGL lower than and we'd have to find the units oh I passed it I passed it what am I doing Sochi MIG 1 lower than and we're going to do 30 again then do or again and I think we would have to clone this and do MIG 2 then activate and we would still need this clone and clone again so these two conditions would still have to be met we still want a blue airplane in the zone, but if the altitude's lower, that would assume they've landed, which should then spawn group 2.2. All right, so I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to go and test this real quick, and I'll come right back with you, okay? All right, guys, so cool news. This is actually in the sim. The mission is live right now. You can see that these two aircraft landed Okay, they destroyed. I had set up two F-15s, one way the heck over here and one right here near the trigger zone. The first one flew in, group one activated. Okay, um, I set their skill level to excellent and their fuel all the way down to like 20% because I wanted them to make sure, I wanted them to run out of gas before the second aircraft showed up. So they shot down the first plane, they landed. Okay, and this aircraft now entered the zone and because these guys were down the deck, Group 2 spawned. So this works. Now the only thing I'm going to do is test with a helicopter and make sure that nothing spawns. Alright guys, so here's our final part of our test here. We have a helicopter 
that I'm going to bring pretty close to it that's going to enter the zone okay and nothing should happen okay nothing should spawn and then a few minutes later we'll have an F15 that we were using earlier cross into the zone and we should see the spawn okay so let's see what happens All right, so E87 right here is about where the barrier is here, or uh, EH87, Echo Hotel. So let's do, add some speed here. Okay, good, no spawns. Here comes our F15. Slow it down a little bit. I don't want to give this, the mission a hiccup here. And we should get it. Boom! There it is. Flawless. Alright guys, so that is how you use the new trigger zone that was just created. The new trigger option. With uh, part of coalition and the unit type. So you can have certain events happen based on which aircraft type of aircraft enters the zone. This is going to be a really fun one. There's a lot we're going to be able to do with this. Um, basically what you can use this for is like we were talking about over here for those of you who've been following all along with you know setting up SAM sites and things like that you know for F-18s or the jets to come in and mess with you know um, now there is still some some restriction right um, I'm trying to think here I guess there's some some restrictions would still be like if you if you want a ground attack you know it's set to plane versus, you know, A-10 or F-16 or F-15, you know, so loadout's going to, you know, if you have F-15 going up against a SAM site, that's going to be a bad day, right? But you guys hopefully see the advantage. This could be a lot of fun um, using this particular method, okay? Um, you, you, can, you will literally be able to break this down. We can have, you know, you can even tell the... <clears throat> Um, surface to air missile systems like if you want to like stage like a covert helicopter incursion you know where we drop some special ops guys in right they fly low level what we can do is tell the uh, surface to air missile systems basically to not engage unless an, a fighter crosses this barrier so there's a lot we're going to be able to do with it like I said who's going to be impacted by that is going to be like the A-10s you know the A-10s a plane is a plane but we might I might be able to come up with a way around that as well so anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying these series still, and I will catch you guys once again in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and if you're interested in joining the wing, guys, make sure to check us out at vcw13.com. We'd love to have you on board. Um, have a good one, guys.